My brain is scattered It can be Alice, I'll be the Mad Hatter Hi guys, it's Emily And this week's video is going to be a 8th grade makeup tutorial Because back to school is happening very soon And this year I would like to try to wear more makeup Sorry about the echo, I'm actually in my bathroom right now But this is the products I'm going to be using for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette from Too Faced. Then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, which is my favorite. And Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen. And the It Cosmetics Brush. I don't know what it's called. Oh wait. Number 112. And then the e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush and the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in the shade 20 Vibrant. So the first thing I do is I open up this palette and I use the shade Banana and it's like shimmery, oh I'm sorry, a shimmery gold. So. I'm going to take my It Cosmetics brush, take it, tap it, and then hold on, I'm going to put it on. So you just put it all over the lid. Hold on. Sorry. And then just the same. Oops. Right, and then you do the same to the other eye. And for middle school, I like to try to keep it very simple. So I just put on, this is the only eyeshadow I put on I, for a brightening look. And then I next go in with my Revlon eyeliner. And hold on, I have to do this in the mirror, but I'll show you. What I like is I like the angled eye look. So I put it on the angle, the end of my eye, not my whole entire eyelid. So I'll show you when I'm done. Okay. So I finished the eyeliner. So what I was talking about is I put it on the end. I was kind of rushing, so it's not the best, but I do a very thin line because I'm not trying to do anything special, but I have just a line on the end for an angled look. Okay, and then the last thing I do for the eyes is I apply my mascara, so I'll be right back. Okay, all right, so I finished the mascara. And um, one thing I wanted to say is some of my tips are, um, well, one thing is I actually put on one coat of mascara or a little bit more than one coat. And I think that eyeliner is optional, but when I was younger in like seventh and sixth grade, I would use the NYX crystal liner, but the black one, so I could add a little sparkle and I would do the same thing with the eyeliner and put it on the end and it would give me the same look and it was a little bit easier to apply as well. Next we put on concealer. I forgot to say I was using that in the beginning. Concealer is optional. I only use a tiny, tiny bit. I'm still kind of looking for the right um, like shade for myself, so I just put on a tiny bit under my eyes and on blemishes. And then I blend it in with a sponge. And then, hold on. So I use the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Blemish Concealer. And I think it's the shade is called Fair, I think. Yeah, Fair 50. So I click it three times. And you rub it on the back of your hand, sorry. Just, just a little bit, just to spread it out. And then I put a few dots underneath. And a little bit on there, and then and then I take my pink sponge and I dab. Don't rub because then it'll create wrinkles. For, not like now, but like for when you're older, it increases increases the wrinkle thing. <laughs> so you just I use the corner to get up into the crease 
right, and then use whatever is left on my sponge. And then I like to, just because it makes me a little brighter, I use the peanut butter and jelly palette, but I use the white shade, which is called Extra Creamy. And I take my It Cosmetics brush, and I just put a little bit on there, and I just kind of put it on the concealer and let it bake, I guess. A little bit up there. Then I take, after you have to let it sit for a few minutes, and you can take your blush brush and wipe it off, and then it'll make it a little brighter. Ooh, they're all the mascara there, we'll be right back, hold on. Okay, and then the final step is to use the Neutrogena brush, blush with my e.l.f. angled blush brush. And this is really pigmented, so you only take the tiniest bit. So I tap it in, and really tap it off. And then you just put it up here and you just kind of tap it, and tap it. And then I take a tiny bit and put it on my nose. So then it's all over. And it makes you look a little nicer. And now we're done with the look, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope this helped you guys in some way, um, just sharing what I have. And also, one thing sometimes I do, ooh, why do I keep kicking this eye? Sometimes I take a baby lips. I like to use Pink Punch, Cherry Me, and Grapevine, or whatever it's called, the purple one. And I also have a crystal one. And you just pick one that might go with your outfit or you just like. I like the crystal one because it's kind of sheer. And you just put it on your lips just a little bit. And there you go. Sometimes if it's really pigmented, you can dab it with some toilet paper or a tissue. And then you're pretty much done. But sometimes I don't do that, so I'm not going to include it. Uh, Alright, that's the end of my makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!